From Hollywood, bringing you the best in entertainment, you are now riding shotgun on Maz TV. Welcome back from the break at the beautiful downtown LA. I love Pershing Square. Yes, I do. Whew. Okay, so I have a question. What do a real life action hero looking man, martial arts, and Jean Claude Van Damme have in common? We don't know, but actually, I'm going to tell you. That is the fourth installment of Universal Soldier, and we are talking with Mr. Dolph Lundgren. The FBI has some questions for you. Have you ever seen this man? Back then, we were both in our 30s, and um, yeah, it was kind of fun. We were, you know, friends off camera and kind of enemies right. on camera, but. Um, you know, our lives have taken different turns. His name is Luke Devereaux. His prints were all over the crime scene. So we are back for a fourth installment of yeah. Universal Soldier. I am so excited. We needed a good dose of action. We live among them like ghosts, fighting our time. You're mine, so now you're own. Did you say you were 30 back then? You don't look a day over 30. Uh, well, thank you. Um, what is I'm the actually secret? 38. Secret uh, <laughs> like tequila, tequila, and plastic surgery. No, the real um, aloe vera plants. <laughs> we're our brothers. We're our one on one. Wasn't it a little too violent for you? Did you like oh, it? Oh, absolutely not. You know, okay, you, know, you know, don't let this fool you. I'm not gonna hear this voice telling me that I'm gonna kill him. If you go looking for Devereaux. It's uh, kind of an, a different movie. It's more horror-based. It's more uh, existential. You don't really know what who's who because there are all these clones running around and their memories aren't their own, so we're not sure if you're really watching the real thing or somebody's fake memory, which makes it kind of a, kind of a puzzle. They'll find you first. <laughs> My character, uh, Andrew Scott, who's the spiritual leader of these soldiers, are now broken away from the government, and they're not creating their own kind of group, their own brotherhood. It's not safe here. Look out! I'm just kind of, uh, kind of a softy in the beginning, a little bit of a softy, and then that's great. Yeah, and I kind <laughs> of uh, try to motivate these guys to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to you know, fight for themselves. So. I ain't killing Luke Devereaux did. I used to fight and I compete in martial arts when I was a kid, we were up till about 22. Right. And that's something I do for myself and I uh, always train it, I always use it, um, you know, uh, for f friendly purposes, but still uh, to stay in shape. And it's just sure. something that makes me feel good. So if I can use it in the movies, that's even better. Wow, <laughs> he's such a great guy. And on top of that, super smart and super talented. This man is going for his third black belt. He's a machine, what can I say? <laughs> As always, everybody, we are going to give you Mad TV's top two movie choices. Let's take a look. Coming soon, we have a Silver Linings playbook. After a stint in a mental institution, a former teacher moves back in with his parents in the quest to reconcile with his ex-wife. Ernest Hemingway, because that's who's to blame here. Yeah, have Ernest Hemingway call us and apologize to us, too. But you have to have a strategy. Anger! Oh! And next we have is Hitchcock. This is an incredible look into the love story between Alfred Hitchcock and wife Alma during the filming of Psycho in 1959. And the least you could do is give me your full support. We've mortgaged our house. I am your wife. Lots of great films to look forward to, everybody. And stick around because we are looking for a hot spot. You know, some really good, authentic Mexicano comida. Is that right? I don't know. Mexican food. <laughs> at El Tepeyac Cafe. We'll be right back. Up next on Maz TV.